These exposed ridges and summits are called noon attacks. This is an important feature to know in the Ice Age. A noon attack is a landform swallowed almost completely by the ice, with only a tip sticking through. There are these enchanting landforms, these ragged castles sitting out on the plain, and below, thousands of feet of mountain under the ice. People could have used these as stepping stones, hopping down the Rockies and the coastal ranges. We went up on them because it only seemed natural. This is how you make your map. You climb, you get a vantage, you see ahead. Reaching the top is like setting a compass point. On the saddle of this noon attack, I found a feather. It had melted into the snow, and nearby I found the bird's tracks, a raven. It landed up here and walked to the edge of a cornice. I could see where it came from and where it was going, maybe landing up here to rest its wings. And where it flew from the cornice, I could see the map that spread below it. I believe animals had a lot to do with moving humans into this continent. People would have come down the kelp beds of the coast and skin boats, fishing and hunting the rich waters, and followed birds across the ice. You get swept up in migrations, and they pull you along. Where did these animals take the first people?